Hello, today I bring you to farmers, Mugeni and Apio. Mugeni deals in fruits and vegetable production, while Apio deals in fish production. They both sell their produce at the nearby community market, Tenyi Village, Wimbe District of Uganda. Mugeni has won, but such a big challenge. This is none other than spoilage of his produce due to poor handling methods at unreliable market, since he deals in perishable produce. The letter gets spoiled, collected, and dumped up in designated places where they decompose and produce greenhouse gases, especially methane, during the process of decomposition. On the other hand, appear being aware of the short shelf life of fish, she's scared of any losses. So she opts for the easy and common method of fish preservation, which is traditional smoking. This, re this requires the use of charcoal and firewood, thus encouraging deforestation and reducing carbon sinks. Mugeni and Apira just a representation of thousands of farmers that face the same challenge in Uganda and East Africa at large. The total impact of all these farmers to the climate and planet is great. But tonight, we have a solution. The solar solve has the solution. Ladies and gentlemen, we are what every farmer needs and the solution to the reduction of the greenhouse gases by the use of our solar dryers fully dependent on clean solar energy. First of all, in Africa, there will be no more deforestation for firewood to smoke fish. With the solar solve, more carbon sinks will be conserved in the environment as our solar dryers will be used for drying fish. In Uganda, 80% of the fish on markets is smoked and Africa loses. 700 million US dollars annually due to the perishability and the low quality of smoked fish. Our solar dryers will be used in the drying of agricultural produce like vegetables, fruits and cereals. 20 million tons of agricultural produce are lost into waste after harvesting annually in Africa. With the solar solve, the loss will be overcome, reducing the waste that could have decomposed to emit greenhouse gases, affecting the ozone layer and changing the climate. We, the solar solve, will also work with farmers at village levels where we shall be best as more production occurs there. Our solar dryers will be available to farmers on their farms. This will lower the gases that the vehicles would emit to transport produce to processing plants in urban centers. In addition to that, food security will be ensured due to the low post-harvest losses with our solar dryers used. In turn, reducing the pressure on the land while conserving the carbon in the soil this will improve the fertility and leads to higher yields of agricultural produce. The solar solve will ensure clean, safe and long shelf life produce of high value, doubling the farmer's income while improving standards of living. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how we are going to operate. We will make solar dryers that will be purchased by farmers individually or in cooperatives or even in groups. Definitely, there are those farmers who cannot afford buying personal dryers the and lack even storage facilities for their produce so we shall offer the company dryers and storage facilities at our bases in the village with a deduction of only 15 percent of their produce as payment to the solar solve corporate training on how to use the solar dryers and drying of produce within the dryers will be offered at an affordable price communal sensitization on the beauty and the benefits of our solar dryers will also be carried out to interest more clients with the 1 million US dollars to save a farmer to save the planet will be accelerated, my dear listeners. This is how we are going to make money and let's take them through. See how viable this idea is monetarily. The cost of establishing our solar dryer is 133 US dollars. We shall therefore sell it in installment at 199 US dollars for six months, getting a profit of 66 US dollars per dryer sold. In Uganda, in the first 18 months, we shall be able to work with 3,780 farmers in 126 districts, giving us a profit of 249,480 US dollars. In East Africa, therefore, in the next four years, we shall work with 36,000 farmers, giving us a profit of 2,376,000 US dollars. In Africa, in the next 10 years, we shall work with at least 1 million farmers, stepping up our profit to 66 million US dollars. Because of value add addition and self shelf life extension, our farmers will sell their products at higher prices doubling their profit. Therefore, a solar solve is just an idea whose time has come waiting for the $1 million to solve the world's biggest problem. The beauty of the solar solve is that it provides a clean preservative method due to its enclosed structure and uses the sun as its natural energy source. It is environmentally friendly because it reduces deforestation due to smoking of fish and reduces anaerobic decomposition which forms methane gas 
which is a greenhouse gas, therefore reducing global warming. It is reliable and affordable compared to other preservative methods like refrigeration, since some remote areas in Uganda do not have access to electricity, more so reliable electricity. It doubles the farmer's income through adding value on the produce and allowing them to sell the produce when prices have risen. Not forgetting, it offers partial storage, as the produce is left in the dryer until it has reached the required dryness. Someone may wonder how the solar solve is unique. Well, we will produce solar dryers of different capacities. The farmer is not going to be left out since he or she will decide on the appropriate time for him to sell his or her dried produce. We also envision coming out with a solar dryer run using a solar system in order to have continued drying irrespective of the season. This is the team of great minds. Yacinta Nampima, Joseph Luswari, Ernest Ayen, and Rebecca Namoya. Thank you.